Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over some of the best new raid builds that are now available in Scarlet and Violet through the Indigo Disc. Now we've done similar videos to this with the base games of Scarlet and Violet and when we had the introduction of Kitakami through the Teal Mask DLC. So we're going to do the same with the Indigo Disc Pokemon. Now we've got a fresh batch new Pokemon to use and utilize for raid builds. Primarily today, we're not going to be looking back at any of the older Pokemon that we've had and revamping them for this specific video. But if you'd like to see that in future, do let me know down in the comment section below and we'll take a look at some of the new options that we do have available with new moves and the new stellar type that we now have access to in the Indigo Disc. So all of the builds that we're featuring in today's video will be linked down in the description below. So if you want to take a look at them after today's video, they'll be there for you to reference whenever you need to. And all of these builds will be more than capable of taking on five and six star terror raids in your games. So it'll be easy for you to go in, farm them and beat them for whatever items that these raids offer. We're going to start things off with Venusaur. It is one of the starter Pokemon. Obviously, you're going to need to either trade in from Pokemon Home to have Venusaur in your games or unlock the starter Pokemon to get them in the Terrarium. This can be done in the post game of the Indigo Disc. If you want details on that and you don't know how to do it, then there will be a video linked in the description below showing you how exactly you can unlock the starter Pokemon and get them in your game. So Venusaur is going to be the first one, like I say, we're kicking off with a great Pokemon grass and poison type it is going to have the grass terror type on it it's going to have the held item of the expert belt it's going to be level 100 and be hyper trained so that goes for the same for everything that we're featuring to this video everything will be level 100 and obviously hyper trained using bottle caps or gold bottle caps to make sure those ivs are set to 31. the move set on the venusaur is going to be sunny day growth acid spray and giga drain we're going to have an ev spread of 252 in hp and then 252 in special attack with a modest nature and the rest the remaining six after that investment is going to just be put into defense or you could put it in special defense whichever you would prefer and the ability on this venusaur is going to be its hidden ability chlorophyll so you will need to use an ability patch to access that and the basic premise of this venusaur build is going to be utilizing sunny day turn one so get that sun up on the field that'll last for five turns and then utilize growth growth will give you a plus two to your special attack and attack stats so you'll be able to use this three times with the sun in effect and you'll be maxing out your special attacking stat then you can combine this with acid spray so that is going to reduce the special defense on the raid boss by two stages every time you use it so use three of those and then you're going to just spam giga drain with the expert belt as well it is going to make that a bit more powerful and you've got a line of recovery with the giga drain so every time you are attacking into the raid boss you will be recovering health meaning that you're going to be able to stay on the field for a lot longer just be aware when you're using this venusaur that there will be times where the raid boss does nullify the stat boosts on your side of the field or its side of the field so you may need to repeat a few of the processes over again like going for the acid sprays to just reduce that special defense stat even further if it has been reset by the raid boss but nice thing about the acid spray is it does work through the shield so if the shield goes up you can still utilize that to maximize your damage but venus is all going to be a very strong option especially if you need a grass type to beat five and six star grass week terror raid pokemon now we have covered venusaur but i'm going to give you an alternative set if you would like to use a different one if you want a poison terror type venusaur it can work just as effectively as the grass terror type one this venusaur obviously has the poison terror type but the held item is different it is going to be the shell bell because we're not using the giga drain we don't have that line of recovery so we're going to need that throughout the raid the shell bell gives us that the move set is going to be very similar although we are changing the giga drain for the sludge bomb that's going to be the main attacking move the basic premise of this move set is going to be exactly the same as the grass terror type venusaur but the sludge bomb is the only variation same ability same ev spread same nature in modest but the only alteration is the held item, which is the shell bell, and then the sludge bomb over the Giga Drain. Next up, we have Superior, another grass type Pokemon. Gonna have that grass terror typing on there. Shell bell as the held item, gonna be level 100 and hyper trained, of course, with a moveset of light screen reflect, Giga Drain, and Leaf Storm. It is gonna have its hidden ability contrary and an EV spread of 252 in HP and 252 in special attack. Again, the remaining six that's left over from that for the EVs is just put into the defense, all the special defense. But the beauty about the contrary ability is any drops to your stats 
actually get flipped around so they aren't drops any longer and they become boosts so every time you use something like leaf storm which lowers your special attack by two stages it will actually be boosting your special attack by two stages the only caveat i would say to this moveset is just pp max the leaf storm so you've got eight of them rather than five so you've got the full utility of those throughout the raid and then giga drain is kind of your fallback if you do run out of the leaf storms when your special attack stat is to plus six after three leaf storms then you can utilize the giga drain for additional attacking damage as well as additional recovery alongside the shell bell held item the light screen and reflect on nice options here because it does give you nice defensive stability against raid bosses in particular boosting that special defense and defense stat with those two attacks and because this move pool isn't so deep it just gives you a bit more staying power on the field while you're getting that set a very reliable way to just come into the raid set up the light screen set up the reflect you've got those for five turns and then start firing off those leaf storms boosting your special attack stat and then relying on Giga Drain anytime you need any additional recovery. The next Pokemon is another Grass type and very similar to the Venusaur one. But for those of you that do like Blossom, want a different option to Venusaur, this is a brilliant one and re one I really like going into the raids. Grass Terra typing, Expert Belt again, level 100, hyper trained, and it has a moveset exactly the same as the Venusaur's because it can do the same job. It is Sunny Day Growth, Acid Spray, and then Giga Drain. Chlorophyll is the ability, not a hidden ability this time, so no need to use an ability patch. EV spread is exactly the same, 252 in HP and then 252 in special attack with a modest nature. Rest put in defense or special defense. The reason why we're going with the 252 in HP is it gives you a kind of the coverage against both physical and special attackers, right? Whereas normally if you're going in against a dedicated seven star terror raid event, you would put the EV investment into one of the defenses and maybe a HP as well just to maximize them but because we're going in against five and six star terror raids and there'll be an array of different special and physical attackers we kind of cover in bases with that 252 investment in the HP stat we're obviously maxing out the special attack and stat as well just to maximize damage there so that's the reason basically behind the EV spread there basic premise of this one again sunny day turn one Go for those growths, get three of those off under the sun, plus two special attack and attack. Then acid spray three times, that's going to reduce the special defense on the terror boss. And then you can just fire off the giga drains after you've acid sprayed as well three times. You're going to be in a position where you can terrestrialize and your damage is going to really be maximized. So Belossum, just a different grass type alternative. But another one that's available in the indigo disc and one i did want to feature in this video promise we'll be through the grass types very soon but the next one one of my all-time favorite grass type pokemon is going to be vile plume again another option that's just different to the venusaur but very similar in a lot of ways we've got the grass and poison typing grass terra typing there expert belt as a held item level 100 hyper trained and then the moveset of Sunny Day Growth, Acid Spray, and Giga Drain. Should have probably split these up a bit, but at least if we're doing the start of the video, we'll get these all out of the way at one time. Again, EV spread 252 and HP, 252 and Special Attack. Chlorophyll as the ability that will double the speed under the sun as well, which is another complementary thing about setting up the sun for this particular Pokemon. Again, basic premise going to be Sunny Day. Go for those growths. Fire off three acid sprays. You're going to be in a position to terrestrialize, and then you can attack with the Giga Drains. It's also going to help you recover throughout the battle. But again, a very nice option to go in against a lot of Grass Week Terra type Pokemon in the Indigo Disc. And like the Venusaur, you have the alternative to go for a Poison Terra type Vile Plume as well. The only things that you would change exactly like the two Venusaur variations, you would put the Shell Bell as the held item onto this Poison Terra type Vile Plume. And then replace the Giga Drain with Sludge Wave, which is just an alternative option just to make sure that you can hit for good damage with that poison type attack. Again, okay, away from the grass types, we are going to be hitting some of the new Pokemon that we've got available in the Indigo Disc. And this time it is going to be Galarian Slowking, Poison and Psychic type. We've actually got the Stellar Terra typing on the Galarian Slowking because I feel like it gives you a nice option hitting with both of its stab attacks both of its poison and psychic type moves held item is going to be the shell bell it is going to be level 100 it is going to be hyper trained and it will have the move set of acid spray nasty plot sludge wave and psychic it will have the ability curious medicine not going to be too important for raid bosses but can come in handy if you get knocked out and you come back onto the field if the raid boss has boosted up its stats a bunch of times then we've got the EV spread of 252 in HP and 252 in special attack with a modest nature. 
basic premise with this move set is going to be get your nasty plots up three of those that will boost your special attack by two stages every time you use it so using three get you to plus six then utilize your acid sprays is going to reduce the special defense on the raid boss by two stages every time you use it so three of those and put it down to minus six and then you're in a position to terrestrialize and utilize the star boost that you get from the stellar terror typing on either the sludge wave or the psychic but just bear in mind once you've used that move once you take away that boost for the rest of the raid so you want to time your attacking moves really well with the stellar terror typing to make sure you're getting the most out of the attacks when you do target the raid boss because once you've used sludge wave once after you've terrestrialized you'll not get the boost on it the next turn you use sludge wave but you can get the star boost with the psychic so just bear in mind that's how stellar typing works but i feel like it gives you a nice flexibility in particular with the glaring slaw king i prefer this one just because i feel like it's got a better ability and it has a better poison type attack as well again going with the stellar terror typing shell bell as the held item level 100 and a move set this time of acid spray nasty plot psychic and shell side arm which is its signature poison type attack and the ability quick draw as well which is a bit like the item quick claw but as an ability quick draw it lets it periodically move first before the terror boss can attack you so quite a slow pokemon in general really useful ability in certain situations again the basic premise with this is going to be nasty plot three times acid spray three times then terrestrialize and utilize both your stab attacks and psychic or shell side arm EV spread is going to be 252 in HP and 252 in special attack with a modest nature and the rest put in that defense stat which is pretty big anyway. So that is the Galarian Slowbro and the Galarian Slow King which are nice options if you need an either Psychic or Poison type going in to any of these five and six star terror raids next up is another starter pokemon and this time going to be swampert going to be the water and ground type again going with the stellar terror typing on this one i do feel like it gives you the flexibility to go between the water typing and the ground typing and you're not losing either of those types when you go into your terrestrialized state shell bell is the held item for our line of recovery going to be level 100 and hyper trained and a move set of bulk up screech earthquake and liquidation so earthquake liquid going to be your main attacking options on the swamp herd. especially after you terrestrialize you're going to be hitting for really big damage basic premise is going to be going for screech three times that's going to reduce the defense stat which you're hitting on with your physical attacks by two stages every time you use it so using it three times will get the defense on the terror boss down to minus six you're going to use bulk up maybe two to three times that's going to boost your attack and defense by one stage every time you use it so getting yourself to plus three in attack combined with that minus six defense stat that the terror raid boss will be on after those three screeches will produce some big damage for you with this swamper the ev spread is going to be 252 in hp and then 252 in attack with an adamant nature and the rest put into that defense stat the ability here is torrent that will give you increased damage if you're low enough health but you can go with its hidden ability damp although not really that useful in any raid situation because you're not really ever seeing any of the raid bosses go for the self-destruct or explosion moves so torrent really a bit more useful especially if you're in that pinch situation where you've got low hp and you just need a little bit of extra damage another starter pokemon is for alligator and this one is one of my favorite builds i think we're featuring in this video life orb as the held item level 100 and hyper trained move set of sword stand screech ice punch and liquidation with the hidden ability sheer force you're gonna have to use an ability patch to get that sheer force ability on the for alligator and then we've got an ev spread of 252 in hp 252 in attack with an adamant nature as well and the rest put into that defense stat basic premise with the for alligator is it's gonna sword stance up three times boosting its attack two plus six so plus two every time you use it then screech again we've talked about that with the swampert utilizing that every turn will reduce the defense stat by two stages so use three of those to get the raid boss down to minus six defense and then utilize the ice punch or the liquidation which are going to have increased damage output from that sheer force ability as well as the life orb on top of that you'll not be taking recall damage the only drawback with the sheer force ability is it doesn't allow you to really utilize the shell bell item because it takes away that secondary effect where you get the health back so you're going to have to rely on an item like life orb if you're not really too keen on the sheer force ability with the life orb combination and you prefer to have the shell bell item then just change that sheer force ability to the torrent ability that it is in its regular form so 
that will allow you then to use the Shell Belt item, but a very strong Pokemon. The only caveat I would say is to not having that recovery through the raid is that you're going to have to rely on the heal cheers just periodically throughout the raid, especially after you do terrestrialize. You don't want to get knocked out because it will make the raid a lot harder, especially against those six star raids. We're nearly through all the starter Pokemon, but another one that I wanted to feature in today's video is Infernape. One of my all time favorite Pokemon it is a fire and fighting type. We do have the stellar terror typing on this because it does have good flexibility with the fire and the fighting type moves that it does have access to. Shell Belt is the held item level 100 and hyper trained with a moveset of Nasty Pot, Aurosphere and Heat Wave. The EV spread is going to be 252 in HP and then 252 in special attack with a modest nature and the ability is going to just be blaze here we don't need the iron fist because that is a hidden ability and we've got nothing that's going to take advantage of that on the move set the basic premise is going to be using big tears reduces the special defense on the target pokemon by two stages every time you use it so utilizing three will get it down to its loss point minus six then utilizing nasty plot to get your special attack up to plus six and then spamming the heat wave or aura sphere until you can terrestrialize and really close down raids a lot of the times when i've been using the infernape you haven't really needed to terrestrialize so you've just been getting the nasty plot set up the fake tears set up as well and then one of the attacks which is going to be enough to pick up a lot of the terror raid pokemon even six star terror raid pokemon that you come up against so a very nice option just a little bit flimsier on the defensive side, but all in all, a very strong build. And for you Infinite fans, a very nice option. Next up is Alola Ninetales. I know this was introduced earlier and could be transferred through home, but now catchable in the Indigo disc. So I thought it would feature it in today's video. Ice and Fairy type Pokemon, a really nice typing. Obviously it does have that four times weakness to steal, but will not be bringing it to those sorts of terror raids. Anyway, Ice Terror typing on this one. Shell Bell as the held item for a line of recovery, level 100. Hyper trained, of course, with the move set of Nasty Plot, Aurora Veil, Big Tears, and Freeze Dry, with the ability Snow Warning and the EV spread of 252 in HP, 252 in Special Attack, and the rest put into Defense. So the basic premise of this is going to be taking advantage of the snow warning ability. It brings snow to the field for five turns. That's going to boost your defense stat for the period of time that the hail or the snow is on the field. And then also with that in effect, you can utilize Aurora Veil, which is going to essentially give you a light screen and a reflect. So further boosting those defense stats, meaning you're going to be able to stay on the field for a very long period of time. Then you're going to utilize fake tears we've already talked about that reducing the special defense on the target pokemon by two stages so use that three times use your nasty plot to boost your special attack by three stages to plus six and then fire off those freeze dries the nice thing about freeze dry as well is it hits water types for super effective damage and also anything ice weak as well so very strong option you could go with blizzard here but i just prefer the flexibility of freeze dry over anything like blizzard or ice beam just because you can hit those pokemon for good damage as well next up we got another sheer force pokemon and it is going to be for rompados and it is the rock type pokemon if you need rock type coverage for any of your terror raids, if you're going against bug types or flying terror type pokemon rompados gives you a nice option going to have that life orb held item level 100 hyper trained Move set of Sword Stand, Screech, Rock Slide, and Head Smash. Sheer Force is the ability on this Pokemon. Of course, you can go with its regular ability, Mold Breaker, and go for a Shell Bell, a held item. So you've got a line of recovery there. But don't go for the Shell Bell if you are going for the Sheer Force ability like we are here. We just want maximum damage from this Rompados as soon as we are set up. The EV spread, pretty straightforward. 252 in HP, 252 in attack with an adamant nature. And again, like we've covered on some of the other physical pokemon we're utilizing the screech to lower the defense stat on the target pokemon then the sword stance to boost our attack and then firing off big attacks like the head smash just beware head smash is probably one of those moves that you want to use in a last ditch attempt before you get fainted because you will take recall damage from this move which is one of the only drawbacks with it primarily you're going to be using uh utilizing the rock slide which is going to be your main attacking option like I say, if you're in that end game where you can, where you know you're going to knock out the Pokemon, you can use the head smash. Or if you're about to get knocked out, you can use the head smash just to make sure that you do get knocked out. Then you can come in, terrestrialize, and use Rock Slide for the rest of the match. But a very good option, nonetheless. The only drawback is you've got no recovery with it because you're using that Life Orb. Although with the Sheer Force ability, you're not going to be taking the recoil damage, and you are going to have a little bit more damage output from this Pokemon. 
Next up is Electivire. Really nice option. And I've had some fun playing with this, taking down a lot of six star Terroid Pokemon very easily. Now we've got the Stellar Terror typing on here as well, because it does have another option that we wanted to have flexibility with. You could easily just go for the Electric Terror typing on this. That will work super fine. But I just wanted to have the Stellar Terror typing on here to take advantage of. Some of the other moves that it does have access to. And I have the Shell Belt as the held item for a line of recovery. Level 100 once again. Hyper Trained and a moveset of Bulk Up, Screech, Ice Punch and Thunder Punch. The ability here is going to be Vital Spirit which is its hidden ability. And I've chosen this over Motor Drive because Motor Drive does give you a speed boost whenever you're hit with an electric type attack. But basically when you're going into a Terror Raid you're not going to be bringing Electivire to those raids. So Vital Spirit, one of those moves where it gets around things with Yawn, things with Hypnosis. A lot of options that we're going to see in the Indigo Disc and the other regions of Scarlet and Violet will have those kind of disruptive moves. Whereas Vital Spirit really makes it easy to bring Electivire against those sort of Pokemon. If the Terra typing's right of course and have an easy time and not have to worry about being put to sleep. The EV spread is going to be... 252 in HP, 252 in attack with an adamant nature. And basic premise of this is going to be Screech three times, get the defense stat on the Togger Pokemon down to minus six. Make sure you do that before the shield goes up, because once the shield goes up, the Screech will no longer work. And then alongside that, utilize the bulk up, which is going to boost your attack and defense by one stage every time you use it. Then fire off your Thunder Punches and Ice Punches until you can Terrasilize. And you're going to have that increased damage and be able to wreck and wreak havoc through a lot of the six star terror raids that are available on the map. Next up is Iron Crown and I'm featuring this. It is a Violet exclusive, but if you are a Scarlet player and you do have access to it, it's still a very, very good option out of all the kind of new Paradox Pokemon that we've got coming into the Indigo Disc. I feel like one of the best raid Pokemon that we've got overall in general. Steel and Psychic typing, Terra typing on this is going to be Steel. We've got the held item of the Shell Bell, again a line of recovery, level 100, hyper drained, with a moveset of Electric Terrain, Tachyon Cutter, Metal Sound, and Calm Mind. Quark Drive is the ability, with an EV spread of 252 in HP and 252 in Special Attack. The basic premise of this is going to be turn 1, get your Electric Terrain set up, that's going to boost your Quark Drive, so giving you a Special Attack boost, that's... For the five turns that the electric terrain is on the field the nice thing about electric terrain as well it gives you immunity to any sleep moves anything like yawn hypnosis spore things that we talked about the, the the advantages of vital spirit on that electivire so immunity to sleep as well as giving you that boost to your cork drive then we're going to utilize the metal sound move it is a bit low on accuracy but every time you do hit the target pokemon it does reduce the special defense by two stages so again you want to use that three times on the target pokemon and then get your calm mind set up, boost your special defense and special attack up by one stage every time you use it. And then you're going to rely on Tachyon Cutter as well. I'd maybe go to PP Max that one, just going into the raids. But once you terrestrialize, you're going to be in a really good spot where you're going to be doing big damage with the Iron Crown, which, like I say, is probably the best raid pokemon out of all the new paradox pokemon that we've got available to us in scarlet and violet next up one of my favorite new pokemon that we've got available for raids in general is going to be meow stick it is going to be the female meow stick going to be psychic type with a psychic terror typing shell belt as the held item does need a line of recovery so the shell belt offers that level 100 hyper drained of course with a move set of psychic terrain fake tears nasty plot and expanding force with an ev spread of 252 in hp and 252 in special attack with the rest put into the defense and the ability on this meow stick is going to be competitive so every time you take a stat drop with the meow stick actually going to give you a plus two boost in your special attack so essentially if you're taking attacks like bulldoze or anything like that that's lowering your speed or any of your other stats it's going to be giving you a free nasty plot essentially which is really useful Especially in raids where you're utilizing fake tears, which is going to reduce the special defense that on the target Pokemon by two stages every time you use it. And then combine that with the psychic terrain, which is going to then boost the power of the expanding force. It's a very, very strong Pokemon when you've got it set up and it will rip through raids under the right circumstances, of course, going in against psychic weak Terra types. And finally, we're going to finish off with Arceus. We have covered Arceus here on the channel before. I think one of the first channels to cover Arceus as a good Pokemon to go in against six star Terra raids right back when it was first available from Palm Transfer into Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But we are covering it in today's video now. I mentioned at the start of the video I wasn't covering any of the older Pokemon to revamp. But this is an exception because I do feel like 
Arceus is just such a strong option if you've got access to it in your copy of Scarlet and Violet. Obviously, not something that you're going to be able to catch in Scarlet and Violet, but you can transfer in from Pokemon Home from other games if you do have it from old events or just from BDSP or Pokemon Legends Arceus. So the only thing that we're really changing on the Arceus from the original build is the Terra typing because the Stellar typing is that perfect typing for Arceus where you're not having to worry about terrestrializing and then disrupting the damage you're doing with Judgment or anything like that. The Stellar typing is so perfect. It's making the Arceus such a good flexible Pokemon to take into any amount of six star raids to farm for Herba Mystica or just the good item drops that you're going to get from these raids in general. So again just going to be the change of the stellar terror typing. The held item will be the different plates to suit the terror raid that you're going in against that will change its typing and then the moveset of recover, calm mind, acid spray and judgment, multi-type the ability which plays off the plates and then I would go with an EV spread of 252 in HP and then 252 in special attack with a modest nature. I think I catered this one for a different raid that we had recently for a seven star raid so it's in special defense but I would put the EV spread into special attack with the modest nature then you're going to be hitting like an absolute truck, but a very strong Pokemon. The basic premise is going to be Acid Spray three times, get that special defense down on the target Pokemon to minus six, then Combine one to two times yourself. Then you're going to be in a position to terrestrialize and then fire off a Judgment. And more often than not, you're going to be picking up a one or two hit KO on the toggle Pokemon and that's against a six star Terraid Pokemon and recovers there just anytime you need to get any health back but that is all of the Pokemon that we're featuring from the Indigo disc that I feel like are good Pokemon from the new crop that we've got of course we're not featuring too many from the old crop that now have new tools to play with so like I said before if you'd like to see an update on some of the older builds now we've got the Indigo disc let me know down in the comment section below and we will get that video done as soon as possible but I hope we found today's video useful if you've got your own builds that you've been putting together in the Indigo Disc and having a lot of success with, do leave them down in the comment section below. I look forward to reading through them when I get a moment. But thank you so much for tuning in. I hope the builds are helpful for you farming through five and six star terror raids. And you can utilize some of your favorite ones if they were featured in today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Do drop a like if it has been helpful and do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.